So in this video, we're going to go through two harder examples of hidden quadratics. Now, neither of these look to be in the form that we've been working with, so they look a bit alien to us. But this first one, 2 to the x take away 17 plus 72 times 2 to the minus x, what you should focus your attention on is the fact that we have this 2 to the minus x here. So essentially that term there is the same as writing 72 over 2 to the x. So in order to get rid of the fraction, I would multiply everything through by 2 to the x. That seems like a good starting point. So I'm going to multiply everything through by 2 to the x. So I'll get 2 to the x times 2 to the x, so 2 to the x squared, then take away 17 lots of 2 to the x, and then just plus 72 on the end, equals 0. And now it's in the form that we recognise. OK? So, uh, two numbers that multiply together to make 72, but add together to make minus 17. Um, so that would be 8 and 9, wouldn't it? So 2 to the x take away 8, and 2 to the x take away 9 is equal to 0. So either that bracket is 0, in which case 2 to the x is 8, or this bracket is 0, so 2 to the x would be equal to 9. So 2 to the x equals 8, that means that x would be equal to 3. And if 2 to the x is equal to 9, then x is log base 2 of 9. And so that, uh, or rather, they are the solutions to that problem there. OK, so keep an eye out for multiplying through by 2 to the x in this case that allows us to turn it into the hidden quadratic that we uh, are able to work with. Now this one uh, looks very nasty indeed. Uh, we've got 2 times 5 to the 3 minus 2x, take away 5 to the 2 minus x, take away 4 times 5 to the 3 minus x, plus 50 equals 0. So let's work with the indices first. Now here we've got 2 times 5 cubed times 5 to the minus 2x. Then this term is take away 5 squared times 5 to the minus x. Then this one, we've got take away 4 times 5 cubed times 5 to the minus x. And then we've got a plus 50 on the end, equals 0. Now, in this first example, we spotted the 2 to the minus x and multiplied through by 2 to the x. In this example, we have 5 to the minus 2x, 5 to the minus x, and 5 to the minus x. So what I could do is I could multiply through by 5 to the 2x. OK, so the largest uh, power of uh, 5 to the x, if you like. So I'm going to multiply through by 5 to the 2x. Now, just to kind of like make sure you're happy with this, um, the reason why is because that term is 2 times 5 cubed over 5 to the 2x. So I have a 5 to the 2x in the denominator. That's what that minus uh, in the power means. So multiplying through by 5 to the 2x will bring it out of the denominator and multiply with each of these terms and simplify them. OK, so that's my method. So if I multiply this term by 5 to the 2x, I'm just going to get the 2 times 5 cubed. OK, I'm just going to leave that as it is at the moment. Then if I multiply this term by 5 to the 2x, I'll have the 5 squared, and then this term will have 5 to the minus x plus the 2x. So I'm multiplying this by this, and the indices will add together, like so. And so that would just be 5 to the x. So here we would have take away 5 squared times 5 to the x. So for the next term, likewise, we would have take away 4 times 5 cubed times 5 to the x. Now I've got the plus 50. 
times 5 to the 2x as well. So don't forget, we're multiplying that by 5 to the 2x. And so we have this. So let's tidy this up. We have 50 times 5 to the 2x. So 50 times 5 to the 2x. And 5 to the 2x is, of course, 5 to the x squared. So that is that term there. Now we've got these terms here. They both, uh, they've both got the 5 to the x. So we've got minus 5 squared. Then take away 4 times 5 cubed. And that gets us minus 525 lots of 5 to the x. And then we've got two lots of 5 cubed, so 250 on the end. Equals 0. Now, um, before factorising, I could simplify this down. Now, all of these terms, so 50, 525, 250, can all be divided through by 25. So we would have two lots of 5 to the x squared. Take away 5 to 5 divided by 25 is 21. Lots of 5 to the x. And then plus 10 equals 0. So let's factorise that. Oh, I'm going to have a 2 there as well. So, I'm going to put it into my quadratic solver. And we can have 2. Oh. So, we're going to have 2. Then minus 21. Then 10. So, we got 10. And 1 half. And that's coming from that bracket. So... 5 to the x is equal to 1 half, or 5 to the x is equal to 10. So that means that x is equal to log base 5 of 1 half, or x is log base 5 of 10. And these are the two solutions that solve the original equation.